Hey folks, it's me. Um, it's about 11 p.m. I'm making this video as a response to uh, one of my good friends here on YouTube. Um, he left a comment asking, um, I have a question. How come you can't talk about innocent blacks getting killed by the police all across America, but when you have a bad day at work, you have a lot to say about the black community? Um, so, my response to this question. Um, as far as me having a bad day and having a lot to say about the black community, well, I teach at a predominantly black school, and I see the kids who are you know, pretty much that's our future leaders or whatever. That's that that's the future of our nation, pretty much. And I I'm seeing the things that they're doing, the seeing the things that they are into. And yes, I had a bad day and I had a run in with two kids who were bad. And then I mean a lot of the kids at one of the schools that I teach at, um, like I said, don't have respect and everything and it just seems like, you know, if you watch the video you see what everything I said. Um, I don't want you for one second to think that I don't like black people and I don't like what we do in our culture and everything because that that's completely not the case. The reason I was so passionate about that and so upset is because one other thing that I did say in that video is a lot of people of other races don't know many black people and when it comes down to it um, all they see is the negative stereotypes that are um, just fed to everyone in media from you know movies and stuff black people are usually thugs they're usually uneducated they're usually in some kind of criminal activity uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. Like, I mean, I saw one thing on um, Facebook, and it was talking about, it was one of those, you know, Vine, talking about how they're going to prank their dad and have a black kid, and he just sat there forever waiting for his dad to prank. I didn't get the joke, but then what it was talking about was like, oh, he doesn't have a dad because he's black, and he doesn't know who his dad is. You know, little stuff like that. It It's... It's frustrating to see that this is the kind of stuff that a lot of people accept now. And with all these people and these kids right now who think that the hood image and this thug life and everything is what they need to aspire to have and aspire to be, it does nothing but boost what the stereotype is. And it, it, it just it solidifies what these people think. And... I didn't want to get too deep into the topic about police brutality and everything, but here we go. Um, I think it's 100% BS. Um, <clears throat> and of course, I am not justifying what these cops have done. It is 100% wrong. There's no way to justify it. Um, what I said in my other video is how the actions and the way that people are falling into the stereotypes and letting these stereotypes be true, um, that does help the uh, police officers to be ready to pull that trigger on a black person before they're ready to pull it on anybody else. So, I mean, that's just how it is. And it sucks. Does it make it right? No. And all I'm saying, and what I was saying in that video as well, was just, I <clears throat> really believe that if we as a people do better with raising our kids, do better with instilling um, values and stuff in our kids, a lot of these stereotypes and the ways that people act would diminish. And... I just, I, I get tired of the negative stereotypes that label me, and it's because of the culture that a lot of people are taking in. I do, like I said, I embrace black culture and stuff like that, but when it comes to 
a lot of the music that is it's completely negative and it's not doing anything to uplift the community because talking about drugs and sex and alcohol and clubbing is doing nothing to raise up the community that's just doing something for them to make their money and go on about their business if there's a hip hop artist that I want to support, I need them to be uplifting the community and giving these kids a positive thing to look up to. Because otherwise, they're going to be idolizing them for the wrong things, and that's the stuff they're going to aspire for in life. And that's going to get them in trouble with the law, and that's going to get them shot. Now, with a lot of the things that have happened, a lot of the people who have died because of cops shooting them or choking them out and everything it's complete bs and it's no there's absolutely no reason that these cops should be getting away with this there's no reason for it at all the excessive force it's ridiculous i saw i even saw a video of um i want to say the guy was hispanic but i saw a video of a cop running a guy over to subdue him because he had a shotgun to his uh, his throat and he was going to shoot himself. And dude just straight plowed into him. I'm like, these cops, I, I just, I don't understand what's going on here. And the judgments that they're making. Yes, they're in danger sometimes. But with all of these cases that have been popping up with these black young men and some older men as well being shot and killed and then the cop gets off scot-free it's ridiculous and something needs to happen um i just like i said i i i i didn't really want to talk about it on my channel because what can i say it's bullshit and that's really all i can say because it is and it pisses me off every time i see something about it but as a people, we need to do better and we need to stop living up to the stereotypes. So I still stand by everything that I said in that last video. And we just need to stop living up to the stereotypes that everybody is putting on to us and show them that we can be more than the little crap that they think we are. Because we are capable of so much more than they think that we can do. Um, and as far as me, you know, getting on camera and talking about a bad day, I got freaking pushed and cussed out by two kids being ignorant. So, yeah, of course, I'm going to have something to say. Um, but don't for one second think that I'm against the black community. I'm everything but. I want to uplift and I want to help us to rise above and show that we can be more than the crap that they think we are.